I, I was actually tailgating for the first Bills game of the season. I think I had a beer in my hand and a phone and the other checking the fantasy stats, and I, I got hit in the back of the head with a, a football. Obviously, a little dazed. Like, I knew I had a concussion, but I didn't realize it. Your vision just kind of blanks out. You just feel like you just woke up, and then, you know, you open my eyes, and, you know, people in Bills jerseys and everything. It was just kind of really confused for a few minutes. I think I was puking for, like, the first week or so every every couple hours. I actually tried to go to work, and I just I, I couldn't couldn't remember my passwords to get on the computer, and I couldn't remember any details of anything. Things that I should know, like people's names. I've had four previous concussions. The first big one I can remember was, I think, my junior year in high school playing football. I got hit in the head. Number two, I think, was playing hockey. There was one I got in a trampoline. I got one last year water skiing. I think I got another one tubing. I think that's actually five. Let's make six. His speech, his thought processes, it, it just, things weren't right. It's just hard seeing him go through all that. All you can do is try to be supportive. Being in the medical profession, I had heard about the concussion clinic at UB. Brian came to our clinic in 2009. He had already had symptoms for over a month. To assess how patients are uh, progressing, we do uh, a series of exercise tests. If they're in the research program, we also do more sophisticated testing of their breathing, their blood flow to their brain, and their heart rate and blood pressure responses to exercise. I think there's several reasons helpful for people to exercise safely rather than not doing anything. We think it's actually doing something to the brain's ability to regulate blood flow during exertion or exercise. The outcomes look very good. If an individual has clear evidence of physiologic difficulty as a result of their concussion and they follow the exercise regime and are eligible for it, we have found everyone gets better in terms of their physiology. Sometimes there are other sources of problems co-occurring, issues with vision, problems with cognition. Our exercise program doesn't appear to have any impact on that side of things. We do very well with the physiology, the ability to exercise without causing difficulty. The individual, just from the exertion of the day, can have symptoms come on, so the physiology is very important. At first, when I started exercising, you know, I had a lot of symptoms come back, but I just kept going with it. And then eventually, you know, after about a week or two, you know, I, I started noticing the headaches kind of diminishing. Um, the nausea was one of the first things that went away, too. I would say he's probably close to or just as good as he had been prior to, to all these injuries. I would hope that positive stories like Brian's can maybe increase awareness. It's a very different approach. Brian, I think, is a success story, and we're happy to have been a part of the whole thing.